AITA for banning my son's mom from a memorial? My ex-wife Diana have three boys who are 16, 12 and 10. We divorced pretty much after the youngest was born. We also both remarried. She married Christopher and got a divorce last year after seven years of marriage. I'm still happily married to my wife Jessica. Christopher and my boys were pretty close and they were bummed when the divorce happened. I always got along with the dude. A few months after the divorce, Christopher disclosed that the divorce was over his being diagnosed over adenocarcinoma and Diana. Not wanting to be his nursemaid or responsible for his medical bills. Checks out. He told me this because he wanted to leave whatever he had to my kids. Unfortunately, he had no family of his own. Obviously I said of course and signed paperwork. A few months ago, I got a call from a social worker saying that Christopher was a few months from dying and unable to care for himself. He gave her my number. Basically they needed someone to help with end of life. He had made me his power of attorney. He was living in a county hospice and my wife and I moved him into our home because he deserved to live his final days in dignity. It also taught my kids about compassion. Unfortunately he died after two weeks. He was cremated a few days ago and me, my wife, my kids and a few of our friends are planning to spread his ashes at the beach this weekend. Diana asked if she could attend and I told her to kick rocks. She wanted nothing to do with him when he was dying. I'm not saying Christopher was a burden but that's really sad that this dude had to reach out to his ex-wife's first husband like he did. It was clearly more her responsibility. I said she can't sit there and let us do all the hard work so she can come in at the end as the grieving widow. My older son thinks I should let her come and I told him to mind his own business and mouth. I'm not going to sugarcoat your mom for you. Your mom is a witch and will be treated the same way she treated your stepdad. NTA. If she wouldn't stay by his side while he fought cancer. She doesn't get to be at the memorial service you're arranging. She can mourn without doing so in front of the people who actually gave this man a passing fill. With caring and love, explain to your eldest that if she wishes to do so, his mother is perfectly capable of arranging her own memorial with the boys and whomever else she might wish to invite. You aren't keeping her from grieving, but can't bear to watch her cry when you feel she abandoned her husband in his time of need. I recommend that you also explain to your sons, when it is age appropriate, that their mother divorced their stepdad so she wouldn't have to care for or pay for his medical care, that she received her fair share of assets at the time of the divorce, and that it would be best if they use their inheritance to benefit their own life goals. Explain that the money should be used for things like advanced education, a down payment for a future home purchase, etc. Not to just give away to anyone who didn't know or didn't support stepdad in his time of need. That would include not giving money to mom, but also not giving it to a so or using it to buy drinks for their buddies. NTA. But going off on your son and name calling his mom to him isn't okay. Keeping things factual is fine but it's still his mom and he is just a kid. He clearly cares about her since he is pleading on her behalf. There were kinder ways to tell him no in your reasoning. NTA for forbidding her to attend, but soft off for spewing so hateful things about their mom to your sons. I told him to mind his own business and mouth. Way to talk to your son. Who is showing compassion in a matter that very much is his business? Your mom is a witch. What she did was selfish and not compassionate. And with your good example the boys will see it too. But she is still their mom. You are only going to cause rift between you and your sons by antagonizing their mom and causing them more emotional agony in a situation where they have just witnessed their loved one's death and another loved one letting him down. 
NTA for banning her, but YTA for how you spoke to your son. NTA obviously. I don't understand how things like this can happen it's like too bad to be real. Info. Did Christopher express any thoughts about his ex being at the funeral? Ash. Your ex-wife is for sure an A. But the way you talk to your son regarding his mother makes you an A as well. You don't say things like that to kids about their other parent. Even if it's true. 16 is still a kid. And I wouldn't doubt if your other two children have gotten that message passed along to them by now. Telling them that she wasn't able to come would have sufficed. Or, yeah no. Anything other than directly demonizing a child's mother to his face. That being said, what she did was awful and your NTA for not allowing her to attend. All your reasoning is perfectly valid emo. But leave the children out of your anger and bitterness. NTA. She can mourn another way, but not with you and your family. YTA for treating your son like that. My older son thinks I should let her come and I told him to mind his own business and mouth. Quote, YTA for talking to your son like this. He is mourning. Two, stuff like this can destroy relationships and trust. YTA, your children are grieving too. What you said to your son was assholish. It is his business too. His step-parent that he spent about half his life with passed. Maybe having his mom there would ease his pain. Don't taint your good deed by being spiteful. Your ex is going to have to live with what she did regardless. YTA if you actually told your son to mind his own business. It's his business you said the kids like the man. Telling her no is fine. But it's a conversation with your kids and maybe even a vote she may be everything wrong but still. Their mom. So it really is their business. I'm totally on board with not having her there but the kids need to feel heard. YTA. This isn't about you. It's not about your ex. It's about your kids who just watched a stepparent they love die. If it will help them to have their mom there. She should be there. You shouldn't be taking your rightful anger at your ex out on your son. You did a really wonderful thing for this man. I hate to call you an asshole. YTA for how you talk to your son. YTA for calling your son's mother names in front of him. He knows that she did a bad thing but his relationship with her is complicated. You will have a better relationship with him if you stay out of it. You weren't an asshole until you talked to your grieving child like that. And it is his business. You only even know the man because he was your kid's stepdad. YTA for how you spoke to your son and your ridiculous comments you made in response to others. Something is telling me that you aren't telling us the whole truth on how you treat your sons. YTA for writing a completely fictional post. NTA. It would be one thing if it was a medical divorce. Yeah, that's a thing. It's done sometimes to protect the surviving partner from the mountain of medical debt. Where she still stayed to care for him. But she just took off. Of course you're right to ban her. And even after she did that. He left the kids something because he sounds like he was a really good guy. While I don't support generally badmouthing exes to kids. In this specific scenario you get a pass. He's old enough to know and hear the truth of it. And you don't want to teach him that that was acceptable behavior. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.